Welcome to the Velvet Room. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? I wish you good luck. Oh, here. Yuki-chan, are you okay? Do you need any help? Huh? <laughs> no, it's okay. I want to do this by myself. Uh, are you sure? If you need a hand, don't hesitate to ask. Good evening. This is the Evening Journal with news for May 2nd. Our top story is on the domestic airline that was hijacked yesterday. Oh my, look at the time. Yuki-chan, don't push yourself too hard, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Right, I was grilling the fish. Everyone likes this. They say the presentation of the food is important, but I think taste should be a cook's priority. The boys will eat a lot. <laughs> I'm sure Chie will too. I definitely shouldn't skimp. Mm-hmm. There, all done. Oh, it's Chie. <laughs> I wonder if she forgot where we're meeting up tomorrow.
What? The Midnight Channel is on the air again. There you are. Someone's on the phone for you, Yuki-chan. Huh? For me? Who could it be at this hour? He said he was Kujikawa-san's manager and he wanted to ask you something. Yukiko Amagi. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to call so late. My name is Inoue. I'm Rise Kujikawa's manager. Yes, that's what I was told. Uh, how can I help you? Well, you see, uh, I, I can't reach Kujikawa. I was hoping you might know where she is. Huh? No, I can't go running to him with everything. There's no proof that it's happening again anyway. I shouldn't make him worry. Mm. 
Lisa Chan's number is. Maybe I should call Yosuke Kun. Yukiko, I got an email from Chie a moment ago. Yeah, she told me too. About the Midnight Channel coming back, right? Sheesh. <laughs> Bet Chie was half asleep when she emailed you. <laughs> uh, actually, I just received a phone call about Risei-chan disappearing. Well, not literally disappearing, but... Anyway, it seems her people can't get in touch with her. Really? She didn't mention any problems she was having to you, right? No, I think she would have told us if anything was troubling her. She was busy, but happy to be working. Right. And now rumors of the Midnight Channel coming back. Yeah. get carried away. But first we need to see if the Midnight Channel's really back. There's no use worrying over things we don't know are happening. It's always important to be sure first, right? Hmm. You're right. Thank you, Yosuke. Alright, I'm sure things will be fine. Nothing will happen. Rivals! They are... Friends! Yet powerful foes! The desperate fighting program amongst high school students! A new legend is about to start! of all men! Come on down! Nobody touches his precious Nanako! The sister complex kingpin of steel, Yu Narukami! It's only natural. Wage slave in the boonies by day, hero by night, Captain Resaltimo, Yosuke Hanamura! Everything that bores me has gotta go! A spunky dragon with deadly legs, the carnivore who's discarded womanhood, Chie Satunaka! You need to eat more meat! Please escort me to the ring, my prince! The unconquerable Snow Black, Yukiko Amagi! I'll finish you in one strike! Blooming roses and bulging muzzles! The blood-curdling beefcake emperor, Kanji Tatsumi! Deep in the realms of romance! The body of a child, the brain of a genius! The 2000 IQ killjoy detective, Naoto Shirogane! Is this an army of idiots? Fight! and survive towards the one throne waiting at the end! The P1 Grand Prix where fierce fights will be fought! The battle begins tonight!
Why is this happening? Yukiko, you're early! Good morning, Chie. I couldn't stop thinking about things, so I wrapped up my shift at the inn early and came here. I actually made a boxed lunch for everyone. Let's eat it together later. Whoa, a boxed lunch? You made it? Don't worry, I made sure to taste test it first so it won't be like last year. I think. Well, you've got a point. We don't want people to keep calling us poison chefs, do we? Ooh, that does smell really good. Oh man, I can't wait to try it. Hey there, sorry I'm late. I ran into this guy at the elevator. Good to see you guys again. Welcome back! We missed you! The guest of honor is finally here! You're looking well. Welcome back. Um, should we... Oh, he already knows about the Midnight Channel thing. He's actually the one who called me up about it. Oh, I see. This has turned into a pretty thrown-together reunion, hasn't it? But I'm glad you came. Well, it sucks that we can't hang out more before jumping into another mystery, but to celebrate our partner's return, I hereby reinstate the investigation team in response to the Midnight Channel going back on the air last night. Oh, the team is back! Just hearing that name again gets me all fired up. Yeah, let's do this! Uh, I don't think the applause is necessary. Let's get cracking. I mean, this is no laughing matter. No one's heard from Teddy, Kanji, or Rise. Just those three, right? Yeah. Oh, I got a hold of Naoto-kun, but I didn't tell her about this stuff. She told me she couldn't make it today because of her job, so I didn't want to worry her. She seemed pretty bummed that she couldn't be here too. Yeah, going by the pattern from last year, it wouldn't be that clear until after the victim entered the TV. Hey, isn't this the first time a big group of people was shown together? Plus, we're still here. Why us anyway? And what's up with those insulting descriptions?
What bothers me most is Teddy. He was acting like the host of that show. Yeah, and we can't find him. This smells fishy. Then again, I doubt he would play a prank like this for no reason. I guess we'll just have to go inside the TV and find out what's going on. Won't we be stuck in there without Teddy to give us an exit? Uh-huh, not so. I've had Teddy keep the exit TV out on that side. Look at you, all prepared. I mean, think about it. What if we were half asleep and fell into a TV when Teddy wasn't over there? Isn't that a scary thought? Like anyone would be that clumsy. Anyway, it sounds like it's safe for us to go investigate then. Yeah, there's no doubt that something's going on in there. Is everyone ready? We're all good to go. To tell the truth, I had a hunch that this was going to happen. Yukiko, it'll be all right. You don't need to scrunch up your face. Ugh, was I doing that? Yeah, you're gonna give yourself wrinkles. Uh, I'll be more careful. Don't worry, things are different from the way they were last year. We're old pros at this. It's a holiday, so the store's full of people. I feel like things are picking up around town. It's time to go. Hello. All the models are on sale right now. You know, it's been a while since last time. I'm a little nervous. are going Thanks. away again. Um, where am I? It looks like an auditorium. Wait, wait is this our school's gym? Oh, where's Chie? Yukun? Hello? Isn't anyone around? Sorry for the wait. Greetings, boys and girls of Yasugami. The P1 Grand Prix is about to begin. There's no need for manners or courtesy or anything today, so let it all hang out. Tell us how you really feel. Is that 
Rise-chan? I, Rizette, will be your commentator. But first, the General has a few words for you all. <laughs> You're all here now. Well then, I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix! Where's that cheering coming from? Was it just a sound effect? I don't see anyone here. John, you still haven't figured out what's going on? Can I give you a special deluxe smooch to wake you up? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Daddy, those clothes! <laughs> I'm sorry, but every time I look at you, that hat fits you! <laughs> So funny! <laughs> Are you sure you want to keep laughing like that? If you keep it up, you won't be able to reach your most cherished thing! It's just that... <laughs> My most cherished thing? <laughs> That's it! I'm angry now! If you won't listen when I tell you things, You'll have to find out the hard way! Bring out the next opponent! Yosuke-kun, I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> of course I am. Now let's just hurry up and do this. I'll take this opportunity to overcome the Amagi challenge in a different way. I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> Isn't it pretty late to be getting cold feet? You're killing the mood here. Hurry up and get ready, Yukiko. Uh, just to be clear, I'm not gonna go easy on you. Yosuke-kun, what's gotten into you? Don't tell me you really want to fight. Can't you see what kind of mess we're in? We really need to get our act together. Yikes! Yep, sure enough, Miss Goody Two-Shoes ruins a moment again. You're always like that, you know? Always just going with the crowd. Huh? Oh, sorry, that wasn't it. I meant to say you just jump on whatever the easy way out is. That's not true. You said you thought things over and decided to take over the inn, but I bet you came to that conclusion the same way. You tried to act all high and mighty by saying you were determined, but you were just trying not to rock the boat. It's too much trouble thinking on your own, so you closed your eyes to everything. Isn't that right, Miss Goody Two-Shoes? Every day. What are you thinking so hard about, Yosuke? What was that supposed to mean? But uh, it's nothing. What? Come on, you can tell me. Here, I'll help you with whatever it is. Huh? What's this piece of paper? Hey, hey! Oh, this is for our guidance counseling. Hey, don't look at that! Oh, so you're having a hard time deciding on your future. Can it? Anyway, what about you? Come on, Chie. Knowing you, it must be something incredible, right? Ha ha ha! 
very funny. I'm all set on what I want to do. That sounded like you meant it. Did you think I was lying? That's pretty rude, you know. I'm totally serious about it. Seriously? What about you then, Yukiko? Are you going to take over the inn after all? Mm-hmm, that's the plan. I gave it a lot of thought, but in the end, that's what I'm going with. Does that make me the only one still undecided? It's impossible. But man, that's amazing, Yukiko. Next to Chie and her, whatever pops into my head, I can tell you're set on this. Hey, what did you just say? No. It's not an easy way out. Uh, sure, fine. It's useless talking about it. An idiot like me wouldn't understand what a goody two-shoes like you thinks. Let's decide this with an easier way. Come, Jiraiya! Konohana Sakuya! Well, here goes the first battle! Captain versus Snow Black is about to begin! Who will Lady Luck smile upon? I'm as curious to find out as you are, dear viewers! Welcome to the Velvet Room. This is very well. exciting. Let's go! 